Oh, wait a minute. This isn't right. Hmm. So everyone, you can see this is for the armor. Now, previously I shown you me cutting the pieces and having the black fabric cut. Now I have wrapped the pieces using a hot glue gun and you can go and watch many of the previous videos but you can see I just have the six pack formation right here and I have the packs and also the under chest plate like so. All right, now I have to hold it like this in the light so that you can see it, otherwise if I turn it like that, you cannot see anything. So we'll turn it around to the back like so and I've just glued the chest piece as I've shown you and I've glued the under chest piece along with the six pack pieces. And this goes down my chest like so and this is just going to wrap around. So for your sides you will want to cut two maybe three additional pieces and they can look like this. So you can see I have an under piece so this is going to have a slight curve going like so coming down and then you want maybe a diagonal line because that will follow around for underneath your arm that will curve under and sit like so all right and then you can also put another plate over it like that and that will just sit like there and they can both wrap around strong enough to hold your whole chest plate armor onto your chest so that is two pieces you can maybe use three or four you can use cardboard or eva foam in any shape or formation that you want so I am going to actually place these like so. I had those round, I think, the wrong way. Uh, so if you wrap the pieces, you will have something that looks like this. Okay, so I have these pieces like so. I just glued both of my pieces together and then wrapped them in the black fabric. And you will get something that looks like this. Okay, so I'll hold it like there. If I turn it around, you can see one and two pieces. Now they just wrap around my side like so. And that's just going to be for an underlay under my arm and this is going to hold the chest right hold a nice and tight to my body so you're going to have this like so and then you just build all on top of this armor and you can do anything you want guys this can work for many other armors so you can see right now using cardboard or eva foam what you can do thanks guys so hi everyone this as you can see is the armor now i've already showed you the pieces i've showed you them wrapped and maybe how they fit now this is on the logo and i'm just I don't know who he is but you can see I have my gluing station just a little thing with the Peltax now again you can use cardboard or EVA foam for any and all of these pieces okay you can use any design you want it's all about your creativity and your own input of what you want this character to look like but this is the Peltax that can be found in a Hobby Lobby in the US or EVA foam there's a lot of videos out there on how to manipulate EVA foam um, we have our chest logo okay so we have our chest bars right here that is going to go around here and keep going down for my six pack. You can see here for the six pack pieces and then we have our leg. So now this is going to wrap up my shoulder and that goes here. All right, so you can see that's going to come up and around my shoulder like so. So your pieces can interlock if you look at some of the Agent Venom uh, kind of designs you look them up there's a lot of different spider designs of where his leg goes uh, of where all the legs start to go but I'm going to have this one converge up my shoulder the second one is going to come out here and go across my arm like sort of like this and then again the second one or the third one is going to come down and around underneath my arm and the fourth one is going to come down and just wrap around the side of my ribs okay so they're all going to kind of interlock and start to wrap around me this is all the centerpiece and these are going to go on here so you can see this is the armor yeah 
I'm pretty I'm so happy about the sun glare right now because it can actually show you the definition and the different lines in this armor right so you can see I showed you these pieces first hello uh, I showed you this first then I showed you your under chest piece then your six pack pieces they go down like that or your abdomen pieces then we have our side pieces that I showed you those are two Peltax pieces and they just kind of glue together and wrap around your ribs on your side then I've added on the shoulder straps so I had one shoulder strap here just coming around and then another coming around here so those are both the same shape coming across my shoulder then an additional two pieces here and here just to kind of give a nice line going around my shoulder bend so it's just piece by piece adding it to your piece uh, adding it to your armor but I'll step back right now as you see that just wraps around like so and you see it just fits me perfect so I have my chest piece coming down like that all right and I actually have the belt in like he has that I don't know what it is it's a piece just sticking out of his chest and it kind of guards his mouth and around his neck I'm about to build that up but that is just a two additional pieces you can add any design you want but again as I say I just have that cutting off around my shoulder right there so I can add on the arm pieces but I love how it looks so far and again yours can have any design you want you can build in if you watch my Robin process video at least a couple of months ago you will see I did a whole additional different six pack design and a chest piece design and then put further pieces around that so you can build anything like this I will be showing the blue beetle and the blue beetle was basically built like this piece by piece you start off with your chest plate then under chest plate if you want then your abdomen or your six pack pieces then add on your sides and make sure you get that nice arm curve yeah <laughs> thank you everyone for watching I will show you now what the bars will look like on we are about to wrap these in the white fabric so that's going to go on like that let's wrap this around and you can make a, like a Punisher chest piece like this if you want like a Punisher kind of bulletproof vest so that's just going to go on like so and then the leg comes up to here and that's just going to wrap around over my shoulder like that okay so you can see already the kind of legs are interlocking with my body itself on the shape that's what you'll want maybe in most designs you'll want the pieces to look like they're interlocking with your body or the design all itself is one piece so thank you so much for watching peltex or cardboard or eva foam can be used for this warbler sculpting there's a lot of things out there everyone i love you all use your creativity i know you can do it here we are with the chest plate i so I think that's a bit better. Hi everyone, you can see we're back here today and this is my Agent Venom costume. So you just see me, I cut out my base first, so that was my black base armor right here. Then I added on my spider at the front, I kind of built it up in my own design. Then I added on my shoulder pads, again those are skating protective uh, pads or any sportswear that you like the look of. I added some metallic spikes to those, you can add on anything, you can even build the spikes from cardboard. I then uh, built a pair of gauntlets, I do have a gauntlet process video if you want to go check that out. And you can see if you watch my Arkham Knight video, these were my Arkham Knight gauntlets that I've updated with the zip kind of mechanism right here. And then I have just built them up really bulky, so I have added on this section right here. I have added on the white piece for the hand. I added on this whole back section right here. Then I added on a white stripe to go and kind of hint at the edges. And they look so good. So if you want to go watch my gauntlet process video, you can build up any your gauntlets, any design you want, and kind of make them really bulky like I have. I just love this design. It's held together here at the back with the elasticated straps as I have said in the update video you can go and watch the mask I have updated here with the color guards thank you to uh... ah, oh, I always forget I'm a, I'm a B so I'm sorry I'll give that guy a shout out at the end here but yeah the color guard and I've only added on the left on the right side so yeah you can come up with any design you want guys using cardboard or EVA foam EVA foam there is a lot of armor build videos out there and tutorials for that if you check our Instagram I kind of updated the gauntlet since then I have just been working on those I am wearing some black leather gloves right now and yeah 
This is Flash Thompson. I got it wrong last time. I said it was Eddie Brock. Uh, the guy corrected me. I forget as well. Sorry, man. Uh, thank you for like uh, the update. I did said it was Eddie Brock, and it is Flash Thompson, his high school bully. So I do have the kind of thigh armor right here that I have built from the Peltex. I still have to add on my leg armor, and I have my handgun right here with the gun holster. So yeah, alrighty. I am Agent Venom, and apparently I am out with the Guardians of the Galaxy at the moment. So yeah, I can't stay here. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I just wanted to show you the progress of this. You see me cut all the pieces, then gluing them together and wrapping them. Then build on top of that with any design you'd like. You can go and watch my mask process video, or any of the all videos that any of my previous videos if you find yourself in a moment of madness. Okay? You are all awesome. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I am John Hay slash Flash Thompson slash Agent Venom, and you are awesome. Please subscribe and comment. Let your geeks speak. And for me, everyone here in Ireland, bye-bye.